What's up my friend? Today I'm going to show you how to record and how to use the playlist feature within Pro Tools. I'm going to make sure you know how to record very fast and never lose a take again. What's up my friend? If you're new to my channel, I'm Macro from Mixing with Macro. I'm a professional recording and mixing engineer and I do recordings for major record labels and many independent artists. And my goal is to help you streamline your recording and your mixing process for fast and consistent results. That is why you have access to a five step cheat sheet within the description right now, absolutely free, where I show you all my mixing process. For my plugins, my plugin chains, my plugin settings, master chains, everything you need to get a mix done in less than 30 minutes all right check it out my friend it's a quick read and you can have your songs ready for streaming services fast but your mixes are not going to matter if you don't know how to record and how to playlist and never lose a take ever once you got your recording check the description and you will not be disappointed all right now let's get into the video okay welcome to my computer this is my keyboard and this works on any keyboard that you have if you are using a windows keyboard then it will be control so right here where my command is on my mac it will be control on your windows this is exactly how you do it we got the beat inside of pro tools here and we are looking to record we got a record set this is our record track this is where we're going to keep all the playlists this is where the playlist will live and then all our lead tracks is where all of our takes that we're going to keep are going to go all right so you're not going to hear me recording what you're going to see is the waveform you know beginning to form as the recording goes and i will put it and explain as i go along so before we get started one of the first things that you should know is hot keys quick keys so you're fast you're not clicking around to do everything clicking around is fine as well the more efficient way would be to use hot keys all right so the way i have my system set up here is i use command space bar to record it's just like that it starts recording okay you want to undo is command z now just say we're recorded and we wanted to playlist to take we don't want to keep it rule of thumb never delete anything okay it has saved me many many times because you got to understand it you are one mind as the person recording if you're engineer producer artists if you're an artist recording yourself then you know what you want to keep or not keep but the rule of thumb is still keep it even if you're an artist because you can look at something and say ah, i didn't like that take and then you try to do that same take two or three more times and you realize that damn that first take that i did was actually pretty good compared to the rest of the times i try to do it again so you'd want to go back to that take as well so keep everything especially it especially applies when you're an engineer or a producer or someone recording for someone else this is what i do i use command spacebar to record but to do that you have to do quick punch so go up here where you see all the transport controls here you're gonna right click on this p if you don't have quick punch enabled it would just look like a red dot without the p but when you right click you see all the record modes all right you got normal loop destructive quick punch so select quick punch boom and now you could punch in yeah 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 and punch out it is still recording at this point so you can now punch in again yeah 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 and punch out easy it is especially good because you might be playing the beat and the artist is coming up with lines and they're saying something they're saying something cool and they're like did you get that all right and if you if for some reason you you were doing something else and you forgot to hit record once you say once you hear you got that or if they stop saying something but you want to keep that take but the beat is still playing like that just hit quick punch boom and you got the entire take quick punch allows pro tools to record all the time so as long as this playhead is moving the playhead here as long as it's moving it is always recording all you got to do is punch in and punch out and you always have the recording so for instance this is a little piece that we were uh quick punch i i only started it here 
because that's where the playhead was but you can see it kept that part so let's try it again yeah yeah yeah, yeah. you get that boom all right drag it down let's just delete these and you drag it out and you have all the recording that you did from where the play had started okay so let's just get rid of these I'm gonna show you how to do the hotkey for playlisting right now so we have the playlist feature so whenever you record something remember never delete anything always playlist it so playlist control the the playlist hotkey is control backslash all right so some control backslash and it brings up the name of new playlist you don't if you don't worry about renaming it but if you want to you could do you know could take real quick if you know he have that much time but usually i don't re rename anything i just usually remember which take was what but if you needed to rename anything there you go so let's just do a recording here and you'll see how i do it Wagging this bitch like whoa. Check, <laughs> got a bitch on the floor. Hold up, where, where you gone? Hold up, where, where you gone? All right, so we got a little bit of recording here. You probably not hearing anything, but it's totally fine. It's just to show you the process. So we had this take to say. They wanted to redo this take. Here is a little tip. All right, the artist is like, yeah, let me redo that line. I would just drag it down to an empty track. I would mute it just in case they try it again and try it again and try it again, but they're not getting it. We still have the original take that we can use because <laughs> artists love to ask, hey, do you still have that take that we did? And you could always say yes. That's the only right answer to that question is yes, I have to take. We got everything. Okay, but just in case they did another line. Wagging well, this bitch like whoa. All right, and they now satisfy with this take. Then I would drag it up. And here's a here's one thing. Just to, just in case you like to work in slip mode, let's put it in slip mode real quick. Things could slip around, so you might drag something down, but you might accidentally slip it someplace else, right? What I do to drag it directly up and down vertically is hold control and then drag. You see, when I try to move it around, it doesn't move. It just stays right in that spot. So that's how I always keep things right in the same spot. But just in case you might drag something and slip it around, all you got to do is go to spot mode, click the track. Boom. This is the original timestamp right here. So you just type that in or you could just hit this button. It goes there and it syncs again and it puts it back exactly where it was. So that's just in case you run into that little mishap there. So we got the new take and we're gonna drag this up, hit control backslash, playlist it, boom, all right? Now let's just say the artist is now like, ah, bro, actually that first take that we had here, bro, let's bring that back real quick. Boom, you gotta click the record track, hold down shift, and up and down brings back past takes like that right so you don't got to go into here and then go to playlist and then try to find a take you can just boom if you know that take was very recent shift up down oh there's a take boom control drag it down and then playlist the one that they didn't like unmute put it up here and boom they have to the take there okay so that is it when it comes to playlisting now let's just say you want to comp something right let's just say you're dealing with a comp like a singer who likes to go line by line or like to just say they did this line a bunch of times and they're like okay bring this line up and then bring this line up and then bring this line up okay so here is one thing i do let's just pretend this is on separate tracks on a matter of fact we're going to use all these right here so let's just say they like this part of the take now you hold control option v and it brings it to the main playlist here all right so the main track now let's just say they like this one control option v boom and let's just say they like this one control option v 
my little trackpad it yeah all right so control option v it brings it up and let's just say they like this take here i would hit a to clean up that end because if you just do control option v it would take up all that so hit there put the playlist head right there at the beginning of the audio hit a boom control option v up and now you play it and then they're like boom that's how you you would work with singers let's just say they just wanted to comp a bunch of different parts of the vocal like that and you could just playlist this entire thing if you wanted all right so if you want to just jump back to waveform you just hit dash right here just goes back to your waveform and closes the playlist there so that's pretty much everything you might say oh that's pretty quick that's all like yeah pretty much uh, the majority of scenarios i'm in that's the process it involves and it works every time i keep everything i don't delete any takes i have everything and as you keep doing it you get much better you're going to memorize certain things um, i'm going to leave you with this so let's just say you wanted to redo these two lines i, I think i touched on this before all right so let's just say you want to redo these two lines if in your heart like just say you're an artist an artist or engineer or producer and in your heart you know okay these are two good takes i don't want to play this just yet because i don't want to go searching for it later right i would just use an empty track and mute it just get it out the way and mute it and then boom and then try again try again to redo those those lines and once you get that boom so quick recap you got command space bar quick punch make sure you enable quick punch up here you use control and drag to drag and it doesn't slip around just drags vertically perfectly like that control backslash playlists all right like that and when you want to find different takes you click your record track and you hit shift up or down to cycle through takes all right and to hear everything because you have record enabled and monitoring enabled input monitoring you have to drag it down to your lead track so you can hear it all right so that's that and uh, one last thing would be the uh the comp in feature so if you wanted to comp this track and bring it up you just hold control option v and it brings it up to the top like that and then you could you know drag it down to all right my friend that is exactly how you use the playlist feature i use it in my professional recordings with any artist that i work with it saved me many many times doing the workflow this way feel free to go ahead and apply to your workflow and if you have different ways of recording or different ways of using playlists that could be helpful please feel free to use a comment section i'm always open to learning new ways of doing things all right so while you're here make sure not to leave empty-handed Make sure to grab that cheat sheet that's in the description where you're going to learn my entire process and you can get to mix this very fast, less than 30 minutes to be exact. All right. I appreciate your time today and I'll definitely see you in the next video.